Welcome back, everybody, this week in America. Great to have you with us on the program today. Worldly and past life visions, Atlantis, Lemuria, ancient technology, spiritual sciences. Well, it's all in the critically acclaimed Legacy episode series by our guest in the program, Robert Maxim. Five episodes called They Must Read for Every Truth Seeker. The author's real visions of previous lifetimes in Atlantis, Lemuria, and other worlds where these lives took place. The series, 30 Years in the Making, features advanced scientific and spiritual concepts with evidence. For Robert, these experiences began as a child with sleep time visits to other worlds. They continue in both wake and sleep state. He spent over 40 years studying science, religion, and the science of life. Works in the field of information technology. Author of the Legacy series, the Legacy episode series, Old friend Robert Maxim back with us on the program once again and a lot to talk about on the show today. Robert, welcome back. Great to have you with us. Thank you for having me on the show, Rick. It is maybe the fastest half hour in broadcasting, so we'll see how far we get in in the program today. We're going to devote the program to your questions. You can either contact uh, Robert directly. His website is rgaten, R-G-A-E-T-A-N.com. Or you go to uh, our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and submit a question. All of the questions today coming from uh, from listeners and viewers. First one is, is there a spiritual being a creator? I, and it's interesting that's come up several times in the, the year and a half that we've been talking. Is there, a, in your mind, a spiritual being a creator? You know, that has to be perhaps the most asked questions of all times anywhere in the universe. Exactly, yes. Uh, um, well, the answer is a big yes. Uh, and it can be proven. Uh, see, God is more than a being. He is the, the internal intelligence that created all beings and things, right? So yes. every cosmic pulse, every force, atom, soul, even thought and idea, is composed of his manifested energy. So physically and interdimensionally without and everything you find there is him but that energy is the smallest microcosmic element that makes up existence thus are not all things him rather than you know the typically scientifically uh, acclaimed method that a bomb came from uh, an energy ball that created all things and that ball came from a Venturi, a fourth dimensional Venturi, and that came from another universe that fed the ball, and that came from another bomb. You know, there's no need to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> exactly, they don't, yes. They don't know. Uh, but in Legacy, you'll find proof that the Big Bang is nothing more than a huge fairy tale. And I have a downloadable paper proving it scientifically on my website, and I encourage the listeners to go take a peek at it. They might be surprised. And the website is rgaten, G-A-E-T-A-N.com. Go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and you can link on directly to Robert's website and, and get that information. In thinking of a spiritual being or a creator, in other worlds, is there worship of, uh, of that creator like we do? Yes and no. I mean, there's uh, there are different gradations of, of lifestyles and beliefs all over the universe, and every world is evolving. So everywhere you go, you'll find something different. Uh, where I have had experiences, God is respected, he is followed, he is understood, and yes, there is praise, uh, love for uh, for the creative intelligence. As far as worship is concerned, uh, not in the way that we do. Um, I, I, could, I could go on for hours on that, but there's a big difference between worship and respect. Many individuals worship because they want something back. Yes. yes. And they feel, well, I have, if I don't do this, if I don't behave well, or if I don't uh, say, you know, it's not inborn love. It's I must do. That's a huge difference. So uh, most individuals in this world, they might pray three times a day or they might go to church once a week. You know, talk about a civilization where beings are in devotion, 724. Their life is in God. It's not to God. 
And that's a huge difference. It, for some people, that is so difficult to conceive. How can anybody do that? How can anybody? Well, and that shows just how separate we are from the true God being, from the true creative force of, of, uh, of the universe. That's, that's something to think about. Well, that really is. And that second part of that question was mine as you were talking and we get caught up in, in worship and the proper way to worship. And I wondered what happened in what happens in other areas, in other worlds. And you, and you answered that. The thing that I found in doing so many programs with, with Robert, it's like if you go to the website and get information on spiritual being and, and a creator, is you have a scientific background. You have spent decades looking into this and you basically... If you say something, you can prove it. I, that's how I like to operate. Um, this, this apparatus tries not to open up and make noise if it cannot back it up with right, some right. scientific, because that get, only gets you into trouble, plus the accountability and the liability of leading people wrong. That, yes, and if you're listening for the first time, this is uh, the program This Week in America. Our guest in the program is Robert Maxim. He's the author of the Legacy series. Five episodes, basically his journey over uh, a number of years. How many, how many years total? Oh, gosh. Uh, my first sighting was when I was about five years old. So uh, you add it up, it's about 44 years total. That uh, yes, where four, this has been, years. this has been a real journey for for Robert. And the Legacy series is available at uh, Barnes and Noble, at Amazon. You can log on to our website and, and go directly there and get information. I, we've got another listener with the question. You've talked about spiritual values. What exactly are they? Uh, well, we touched base a little bit uh, on the previous question, yes. but simply put. It is understanding. It is wisdom. It is the science and practice of flowing with those microcosmic elements from God that I just spoke about. Uh, now, love, honesty, tolerance, service, beauty, positivism, humility, uh, those are, shall we say, the rules by which God's energy interacts now, since we're composed 100% of God's energy, doesn't it make sense to flow with such rules and not against them? Then what are those rules? Well, if you're not with the infinite, the elements turn against you, and that should be a dead giveaway. Now, you'll find evidence of this in Legacy's dialogue, and it will go into, into the process, the inner soulic understanding of what these values are. And it's not just a behavioral thing and a knowing thing, but it's more of an applic love of application of what creation is. And with the Legacy Series, it's like we were just talking about you will not say something unless you've got uh, proof for that, that you feel confident that you're able to, uh, to, to document that. As you're reading Legacy, you'll be caught up in a, a really good story but beyond that, the words are not just words you're using to fill in dialogue and to move the story along. There's a practical application for what you have in, in the Legacy series as well, correct? All the narrative has a basis in something. And the narrative actually is my own narrative, uh, kind of a step-by-step -step yes. evolution of what I went through, how I felt, uh, how I figured this out with what information and what backed it up. Uh, and where did I get the help from? So that's what actually created Legacy's dialogue. And the Legacy series, as I say, available at uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, uh, Robert's website, rgaten, G-A-E-T-A-N dot com. And like on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. A couple of questions sort of interrelated here, talking about reincarnation, which we, we've touched on before. But let's start with this one. What happens at death? And do we all return or just a select number of us return? I would love not to come back, but <laughs> <laughs> I can already see in my calendar I'm overdue. <laughs> back by popular demand. That's why uh, we keep having Robert come back. Well, uh, we will come back again until we get to the point that we master those spiritual values that I spoke about. That's why we reincarnate. Now, Death is a change in consciousness, much like 
uh, we change emotions from one moment to the next, or even astral travel, death feels much the same way. Uh, upon death, the lower negative self is detached. We're freed from it, and therefore we experience absolute peace. Uh, the negation is gone, that's why. Now, when we reincarnate, the opposite happens. The lower self is reattached, and depending on how much baggage you have in that lower self waiting down here, we may feel some various levels of chaos. Uh, likewise, the more the baggage, the less we'd like to die. So think about that for, a, for, a, for quite a while. Yeah, that, but there's a lot there to uh, to absorb. Does death happen to to, to all of us? I, 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 let me rephrase that. Reincarnation happen to all of us. I mean, are, are there some of us who die, we're dead. Others of us reincarnate. How does that work? All of us come back. All of us come L back. Yeah, life, you see, the consciousness is kind of like a periscope. Up periscope, down periscope. Uh, the consciousness will go up uh, to a higher spiritual level where it actually prepares for the next incarnation. It's kind of like a school. Then, okay, it's time to go back. You go back into the physical, and now you have what you learned, plus the lower self attached. You go through that experience. It's time to, it's time to take a break. You die, or you transition your consciousness back up into the higher spiritual world, only to restart the cycle again. And you do that over and over and over and over. The objective is that you want to take that past, that lower self of yours, and you want to start elevating it, elevating it, elevating it until you don't have to come back again. But unless you come back and deal with with those uh, negative energy energies that you created in the past, uh, you're going to be in this loop for quite a while. <laughs> Interesting. So as we come back, we basically have a a mission to go back and, and to rectify, to change some things. That's right. If you, you know, this is a great school to be in, Rick. Uh, how many times in school did, did the teacher give you the test back and say, uh, okay, here's how you fix this problem. Go ahead and correct it until you get 100% of your test. Yes, yes. Did that ever happen? No, no. 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 Well, that's what life is. You have this test, and until you get 100%, uh, you're going to get help up there. You're going to bring it down here, correct the problem, try again. Oh, do you even do it? No, didn't do it. Okay, but what did I do? Oh, oh you did this. Blah, 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 blah. Come back down. Uh, you'll learn a little bit more. Uh, and uh, I want to bring something up because it's been all over the news, uh, and I think it's important to mention. Uh, a lot of individuals see one another as, you know, this individual is bad, this individual is good, and we have to do this. Everybody that is on, on this planet is going through this cycle. Everyone deserves the right to experience, to learn, to do what they feel they must do because, you know, they're on a mission. Right. Everybody, whether it's right or wrong, we decide what's right or wrong. Uh, and what I think is it's right today might be wrong tomorrow. But this is evolution. Uh, instead of hating or opposing or trying to destroy these people or countries or leaders or what they are. We have to change our fir ourselves first. And through that change, we are changing, believe it or not, everything else around us. What this mission of ours is to reincarnate is to deal with us, not to deal with others. And, and that, uh, I just wanted to drive that because of what's, what's going on in the news today. I have to turn the TV off. I just cannot stand uh, the, the battles that are going on and, you know, this party over that other party. You will not find this going on in other worlds. And if you want another world to be friends with us or us to go there, this better stop. Because that's not allowed out there. <laughs> Interesting. So it, it all basically, we can look to other people. We can point to other people. It all begins inward. It all begins with us. What we see is what we have. It's, it's non-negotiable. Interesting. This Week in America, the name of the program. Our guest is Robert Maxim, M-A-X-X-I-M. 
author of the Legacy episode series. His website is rgaten, G-A-E-R-G-A-E-T-A-N.com. Information available at the website. You can link onto our website as well. Another valuable website is unarius.com. All of that's available at our website. Companion question, talk about what is reincarnation. I think you've covered that. And But their follow-up question to that, the second part of the question, are you aware of your past lives? I know you are. Are most people aware, maybe not conscious of, of, of it, but it's there somewhere? Uh, you will find that there, I actually um, want to have the listeners go to the unariusunited.com site. Uh, there are tons of testimonials on reincarnation and how people figured it out. Uh, there is not one way to do it. Uh, as I mentioned, the higher self sends your consciousness to this dimension on a cycle until you succeed recognizing what you are. And it lets you know via impressions, visions, emotions, fears, what this past is, what is your issue. So don't ever ignore a feeling, a thought, or desire because it's a clue from the higher self of what you've been. This world is a mirror to you. That's why whenever you see something in someone else, there's a reason why you recognize it. You recognize it in someone else, but guess why you know? Because you have it in you. Else you wouldn't you wouldn't recognize the problem right, or the issue. Right. So that's why we're here. And and you have those inklings because of something that happened before. It could have happened in your last birthday, possibly, but it could have happened on a birthday ten thousand years ago. Uh, so always be considerate of every emotion and every inkling that you have because it's it's a direct ink, uh, signal it's evidence that's coming from your past and it could be worth a gold mine eventually it could lead you to realize uh oh the reason why um i am so reactive and i and and uh, and i hate this this system whatever maybe it was I may have been involved in the French Revolution, you know, attacking the Bastille. Uh, It it all comes from somewhere. So we have to sit down first, know the feelings, and then possibly, not necessarily, figure out what the past was. And that was unariusunited.com. That's the website to get that information. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And you can link on to that by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Time going by so quickly. So much more to talk about with your questions. <laughs> uh, and again, you can contact uh, Robert Direct. You can contact us direct by going to our website. This will take a while here. What is truth, which you've Ooh. talked about a lot. What is truth and how do we know? Oh, boy. Truth is simply the act of flowing possibly with the infinite. Uh, how do we know what's what's true? Well, we can use reverse logic and say, uh, how can we not know? Uh, truth is how the universe works. It is facts uh, or correct action, shall we say, in step with infinite law. Uh, it's never foreign to us because it is us. You see, we all evolved from truth that we learned, uh, living it over countless lifetimes. So truth isn't you. It is the still small voice that is mentioned in 1 Kings chapter 19. Now, honesty, humility, and serving God's creations will bring that truth to you. That's what is natural. That's what synchronizes you with the infinite. That behavior, that's what gives you the answers. Not any man, any man's convincing lips or deterring beliefs. So listen to his still voice inside and not other, another man's. And mankind has to boldly cast out and go beyond the primitive understandings that they have been taught and fears of moving on for ages. But the choice is, of course, individual. Robert Maxim, our guest on This Week in America, uh, a lot there as with all of the, uh, the information that, uh, that you're giving us on the program. Past programs you'll find by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. You can go to the iTunes library and pull up programs. 
You can also go to YouTube because we do a video version of all of these programs and be able to watch the uh, the programs there as well. Got time for probably one other question. I know we've got a number of those that came in over the course of the last month, and if we don't get to yours today, we will attempt to do it over the next oh decade or so by the time we get to all of these because there are so many questions and, and so much in the answers that uh, that Robert provides uh, for us. How many others have contacted you with similar experiences? Oh, uh, so it's actually so many that I've lost count. Okay, uh, it's interesting. Not just physically, but also spiritually. Interesting. Interesting. Explain how that happens. Well, uh, for example, I had an experience at the Conscious Life Expo that I just came back from yes. in, in February. And there was this young lady who, she was not going to go to the Expo, but she felt compelled to get in the car and go to the expo. So she went, she didn't know why. Once she was in the expo, uh, she felt, well, you have, you have to find this individual, which yours truly, uh, and looked all over the, uh, the floor until she found me and, and said, and just stood there and said, uh, I, I have to come and find you. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and it turns out that this individual and I have a lot of past associations, and she will be a great asset for the final release of Legacy Episode Number 3. Interesting, and we will keep you updated on how that is coming. It's a uh, five-episode series, Legacy. We've got uh, a minute or so left just to go back to talk about when people come to you. Once they they hear you, and we'll say in particular with the, with this venue, with this program, how many people, and do you get people that say, you know, I've been struggling with this. I thought there was something there, and now it's validation by by what you're telling me. I now know what to, what it is I'm dealing with. Does, does that happen? I like to think that a lot of us are preconditioned. Uh, the answer doesn't necessarily come from uh, what I'm saying, but there is a connection that is made uh, with the information provided. It's... In other words, you already know. You already had this taught to you in the higher spiritual worlds. So when you come here, you need a catalyst to activate it. And that catalyst can be can be a picture. Uh, it can be a, a word or something that someone tells you. And all of a sudden you feel like, oh, uh, the gates are open, light floods through, and you get the answer. So... That is another purpose for being here, for reincarnating, so that you can bring down, polarize, uh, fill your, your lower self with valuable information so that you can continue evolving. So that's usually how those things click. It's because you have been preconditioned. Uh, and if the individual has not had that lesson, it may not click. Robert Maxim, our guest on This Week in America, that's M A X X I M author of the Legacy episode series. His website is rgaten, R-G-A-E-T-A-N.com. Information also at unariusunited.com. If you go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, you can link on directly to uh, to Robert's website and get uh, get all the information we're talking about. If you have a question for the next time Robert is with us, you can contact Robert directly at his website, or you can contact us through our website as well. Robert, time goes by quickly. It is always Aww. a pleasure. Got questions already for next time when you're back with us on the program. Thank you once again for being with us. Always fun and always goes by way too quickly. <laughs> My pleasure. Ready for the next marathon. We are all set. And if you had a question you submitted for this program, don't give up on us. We'll be back again next month and, and, and <laughs> answer many more of those questions. Thank you for joining us. It's This Week in America online, thisweekinamerica.us. We're back after these messages. <laughs> 